Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, at my home base near Kingsland, Texas, USA. It's a warm day. Got some clouds, but what I want to show you is, see, if y'all may remember that. Uh, most of you may. Some of you have never heard of it, but that is the White House. See, that is a, a bed on the left side there. That is a, a memory foam, trifold cot bed or mattress. And uh, that is on a little stand that I kind of, you can see I didn't do a great job, but it worked. And I went camping last year in the White House. Uh, that's a Ram pickup 2017 with a Lear camper top on it, a Lear 180 that has a little uh, more headroom, and I'll show you in just a minute. But anyway, I'm probably going to be doing that again in the fall because uh, I just, you know, I've got this project finished at home. I'll show you a little more about that in a minute, but... Yeah, all I got to do is clean this thing out. I've got the mattress ready to go. There's my solar in the back. I've got my Dometic refrigerator in my RV on the patio there under the cover. And yeah, there's just some junk there. I need to move out and reorganize it a little bit and I'm good to go uh, White House or truck camping, okay? So all you guys that truck camp, believe me, I understand. I mean, you know, of course there's not a lot of room in here. You, you got to know that. I'm 72 years old and crawling around on my knees is not the greatest thing on the world in the world. But I did it for about three months last year. Got caught in a heat wave out in the west and uh, decided to come back because, you know, if the temperature is above 80, 85, it's really rough inside there. Okay, and if there's no shade around and I was boondocking, it was a little tough. So I decided to come back before I died. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want to know your limits. And so uh, I did and I came back. But what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna go truck camping again, but I'm gonna go in like October through uh, maybe March or April and do some of it here in the Southwest region and uh, see how that goes because, you know, cold weather's not that bad. As long as it doesn't get below, say, 35, it's not too bad. And if the uh, high temperature is below 80, it's tolerable inside of the uh, camper top. But anyway, just giving you a heads up on that, the White House is being rejuvenated. Uh, I've already polished the diamond over here and I'll show you what I did. But anyway, this is the Lear 180 camper top and I'll show you what I mean. It gives you a little bit more headroom. You see, uh, the, the, they make a model that's l exactly level with your cab. And this kind of, this is a 180. It kind of has that, it's about four inches more uh, head clearance on the inside. And of course, these windows slide and they're dark tinted. They've got screens. And uh, also something else, if you order one, be sure you get this... Uh, this is a carpet liner on the roof here on the top. It adds a little insulation and it's also good for keeping condensation uh, from accumulating on just the fiber, bare fiberglass. So yeah, if you, in mine, unfortunately, they were having a special and if you ordered a camper top, you got that fiberglass liner. And yeah, you can see how they've attached it over here on these little deals here. And you got four of those. And yeah, there it's it's well mounted. It doesn't leak at all. Never has leaked. Thank goodness. And over here, that, that little cork there, if you can see it, that, that's the, the how I lock it from the inside. I've got a little cork on the, on each side, and they're velcroed down. And you just pick them up and stick them out. Well, I'm not going to show you now. I may show you later. But anyway, uh, so the White House is uh, coming back to life, guys. Probably in October. And I just wanted to give you a heads up. But see, since since this project is finished, see, I, I completely remodeled my home base here. I added a cement slab. Uh, that's my 16-foot travel trailer that I live in right now. That's a 2018 Clipper Cadet. Very good. I just got back from three months camping in it uh, in the New Mexico region. Went all over. Did boondocking. Uh, I did a lot of different ways of camping. But anyway, even stayed in an RV park for a month. But anyway, so this project here is drawing to a close. And I'm just planning on leaving the RV, just let it sit there and be my home. And I uh, may not tow it again ever, I don't know, I'm not going to say that because I probably will. But, you know, I, I'm going to try this. Again, this is the, the way the camper setup looks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great deal. I mean, it's, uh, see, I camped in a Toyota Prius off and on for about five years. And it's, it's got a great feature in that. It's a hybrid, of course. It runs off battery and, and engine. And uh, so you can also run the air conditioner at night. And you know you can just leave it on like you pulled up to a red light. Just leave it on. And uh, you can go to sleep. The air conditioner will cut on and off in the Prius. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it keeps the battery charged. And you just sleep perfectly. You know, it's really nice. And I had a, a viewer or somebody that was looking at going camping in the Prius. And they wanted to know how I turned on the air conditioner. 
uh, from the bed. The way I did that is I had a dowel and I, I could reach the blue button. And on mine, of course, you had to press the brake and the blue button at the same time uh, to get it to, to, to be ready to go. And so what I, I was able to do, since I have long arms, is I used the dowel to press the brake and then my hand I could reach up and put, press the blue button and, and then that would get it going and uh, I was good for the night. Because I'd set it about 72, leave the windows cracked maybe a quarter to three quarter, about a quarter to a half inch maybe, uh, you know, just, just the ones in the front. But having said that, back to the uh, White House, yeah, this is the uh, steps I used to get in and out. I did it for about three months, not a problem. Uh, you know, it just uh, you just caught the wrong weather. If it was cool, it was comfortable because I had several days that were pretty well. It were very nice, and then I had other days that I toasted in there and just cooked because there was no place to hide. I'm out in the boondocks where there's no trees, and okay, now what do you do, big boy? So I did what anybody else would do. I suffered. <laughs> But anyway, I've got a 12 volt fan, uh, U2, uh, no, it's an O2 cool fan. And then I've got the Dometic CF18 refrigerator that I can run off the solar. And I've got, that, that's a Zamp 120 watt, that's 260 watt panels. I've got a AGM battery, 120 amp hour uh, deep cycle battery. And I put it right under the bed over, well, actually I put the battery over here. And uh, now, but be that as it may, guys, from Central Texas, Rusty and the White House are fixing to go camping probably in october and until then we'll hang around here and do some stuff but uh, y'all enjoy your weekend adios amigos bye bye